Today, we revealed a new hero skin for the Archer Queen, alongside everything you need to know about the Clash of Clans 2021 World Championships, because there are a lot of changes from previous years that might allow you to take part. Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. Let's first show you the new hero skin, how it looks and sounds, take it into battle before we discuss the World Championships. It is for the Archer Queen. You can let me know your favourite Queen skin. Mine is still the Warrior Queen. This was limited edition for the Lunar New Year. But the new skin is the Rogue Queen. No special sounds when we select her, but she looks pretty cool. Kind of like an assassin. Maybe that's a better name, the Assassin Queen, or a totally different hero skin in itself. Bit of a headhunter theme going on maybe, but I think she looks pretty good. Other than the fact it might be hard to distinguish that it's the Queen with that hood right of the way over the top of her. But let's select her and let's see what she looks like on the home village. Little bit of a wave there. Why don't we move the other heroes out of the way so we can take a closer look? Now that the queen's by herself, don't worry. We are with you, the judo sloth community. We can have a better look at the sounds and animations. So it is just going to be the standard queen sounds and animations at the home village. It's just going to be her appearance with the rogue skin is a little bit different. By the way, if you are purchasing the gold pass to get the skin, before purchasing, you can go into your settings, more settings, and right at the bottom, you see the creator boost. You can enter your favorite content creator's code here. My code is judo, and we get a small kickback at no extra cost to you. So it's a way of helping to support your favorite creator for all of the content and guides that we bring, and it really is appreciated. Thank you so much, whether it's supporting me or my fellow content creators. But let's take the Archer Queen into battle. Since this is the developer build, it is how we can sneak peek the the new hero skins to you, I like to do one of the practice modes. But I think Pekka's Playhouse is a nice map because we can see how the queen attacks when her ability goes off, and there are enough defenses here that we can see what she looks like when she goes down. Now, a little bit of a heads up, I am wanting to bring something as a continued series because we get to bring you the new hero skin every single month. And I contacted my good friend Beaker's Lab, who I'm sure many of you guys are a fan of, and we are thinking of doing some sort of challenge each and every month together where you can see it on both of our channels. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. And also let me know what you would like to see. We have spoke about a few different ideas, but I'd be interested to know what you would like to see as well. Let's go ahead and deploy the Archer Queen. Aha! So it's just the standard sounds that you have when she is deployed, when she is attacking, and spoiler alert, because I did look at the Queen sounds a little bit ahead of time, it's exactly the same. I like to show to you whether we do get anything different, whether it's sounds or animations, I personally wish they would do that for every hero skin, but I appreciate it's maybe not the best use of dev time, so I'm just thankful we get a hero skin, but I like to show to you if we do get any special sounds and animations, because sometimes we do, and that might be the difference of you buying the skin or not, so I like to try and showcase it to you, but let's go ahead and press the ability. <laughs> Exactly the same, and the queen is doing pretty good throughout this base, so I wish she had something else in terms of sounds or animations, but I do like the skin. It's not my favorite, I will be honest, but I do quite like it. So as she goes down, she has her head in her hands. Ashamed that she could not beat Pekka Playhouse, Pekka's Playhouse by herself. But let's take a look at the home village because sometimes we get some special animations there as well. Just resting, relaxing with her hand on her lap. Whoa, that looks weird. I'm going to actually try and take a screenshot of that. So, whoops. Siri, can you, like, go away? I'm trying to take a screenshot. Thank you. There we go multiple fingers trying to get that screenshot. I never knew that happened, actually. The altar over the top of the Archer Queen. Pretty cool. Fun fact for you. Check this out. 
You can do something similar with the Builder Hut. So I never realized you could do that and the Archer Queen was hidden underneath the altar. But with the Builder Hut, if they are not working, you can move the hut and take a look at the Builder underneath, sleeping, with his eyes open, smiling away. He finally has a rest. Keep those builders working. Before we discuss the World Championships, I want to give my overall thoughts and rank the hero skin out of 10. By the way, if you do want to see the new hero skins every month when I sneak peek them, alongside updates, sneak peeks, and my educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos, I would recommend subscribing and turning on the notification bell. But for the Rogue Queen, she's not my favorite, but she's not my least favorite skin. I think it looks pretty good, but there's just better options. The Ice Queen, the Lunar New Year Queen, the Gladiator Queen. I would rank the Rogue Queen probably about midway for the Archer Queen. I actually think the Archer Queen skins are the best in the game. I tend to use the new hero skin for that month, and then I rotate back to my favorite. So. I'll get the hero skins either way. I think they're a cool addition to Clash of Clans. I really like getting them every single month. But I'll be honest, I'm going to give this skin a 7 out of 10. I think there's better options, but it's certainly not a bad skin. Now to the World Championships. There are a lot of changes from previous years, which might allow you a better chance in taking part. I have had the privilege of casting over the last few years, and I really hope I have that opportunity moving forward. But I want to go over what was released in terms of information. Yes, you can go ahead and read this, but I want to assure that you understand everything. So let's go through it. I had the introduction flash up. I don't need to go through that bit of a hype builder, but I want to go through the tournament format so that you understand it and can potentially take part. Previously, we had the Clan War Leagues and ESL play, two totally different routes into the worlds. This year, they're almost merged together. So as long as your clan is in champion one through three, you can sign up to the monthly qualifier via the clan leader. You don't have to worry about your clan winning champion one and then being in the top four of the global leaderboard. As long as your clan is in champion one through three, you can sign up to the pre-qualifier. Now, you do have to be a Town Hall 13 if your leader is going to register you in the team of five. That's not that the 15-man roster getting into Champions League has to all be Town Hall 13s, but the five-person team for the pre-monthly qualifier do have to be Town Hall 13. And I don't think that... It's too hard to get to Champion 3. Champion 1 was really difficult for clans to get there and then win and qualify via the Clan War Leagues. I think this will open up the opportunity to quite a few more players. For the monthly pre-qualifier, similar to last year's ESL play, once your clan leader signs up the team of five, everybody registered will battle in a single elimination tournament over the course of two days. And the top six teams will be who qualify into the monthly qualifier. The monthly qualifier is the broadcast. This is what you watch on the official Clash of Clans channel when you see the teams competing for a golden ticket. Now, there are similarities to last year in that there are six monthly qualifiers, so six opportunities for you to gain access to the World Championships. It is a best of one format double elimination with the winning team gaining the golden ticket. But the difference is the team that places second who loses in the final actually gains a silver ticket. The silver ticket gains access to the last chance qualifier. So we have six teams with a silver ticket and four wildcard teams from external tournaments. My understanding from reading this, you know there's a lot of community tournaments, winners of those tournaments will be put into a pool and the four voted teams will enter the last chance qualifier. So we will have 10 teams in the last chance qualifier. They will be split into brackets and battle in a single elimination tournament with the winner of both brackets advancing to the world finals. So six golden ticket winners and two winners of the brackets is eight teams for the grand finals. The world finals 
is then where the eight teams battle for the one million dollar prize pool now last year they didn't reveal how the world finals operated until later on in the year so i'm assuming that's going to happen again this year since we don't have any details so in summary if your clan is in champion one through three you have five town hall 13 players your clan leader can register five of your players to compete in the monthly pre-qualifier the top six teams of the monthly pre-qualifier enter the monthly qualifier and the winning team gets the golden ticket the second place team gets a silver ticket to compete in the last chance qualifier alongside wildcard teams giving us eight teams for the world finals so I hope that has summarized what is happening this year with the World Championships. I'm so excited for it. By the way, if you do want to see my previous video where we talked about Troop AI, exactly how troops work in Clash of Clans, it was a phenomenal guide in my opinion. I have it linked right here alongside the subscribe button. You guys take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.